An admirer of the arts of indigenous people of British Columbia, Emily Carr traveled north to native communities beginning in 1908, capturing the villages and people she encountered. In 1912, Carr worked for months on the Skeena River and the Haida Gwaii, leading to her exhibition and lecture on totem poles in 1913. Kispiox was the Gixon village which Carr visited farthest up the Skeena River. It was there that Carr painted the totem pole central to this composition, which she identified as the bear and moon totem. In 1924, Marius Barbeau, ethnologist at the National Museum in Ottawa, cataloged the totem pole as grizzly bear of the sun. Barbeau later identified the totem pole as belonging to the family of Git Lu Da, erected in commemoration of a member of the family. The totem pole is believed to have been carved around 1900. Emily Carr's composition includes only the lower three figures of the tall totem pole. Starting at the top of the composition, we find the grizzly bear with the sun around its neck, followed by five small human figures termed people around. And finally, at the base of the pole, we find the owl. Carr recognized the potential documentary importance of her paintings of totem poles and indigenous communities of British Columbia, saying, the object of my work is to get totem poles in their own original settings. This canvas was featured in the 1927 groundbreaking exhibition of the Canadian West Coast Art Native and Modern at the National Gallery of Canada, which Marius Barbeau assisted in organizing. Barbeau would later purchase this painting from Emily Carr in June of 1928. The Totem of the Bear and the Moon makes its auction debut with Cowley Abbott this fall, featured in the auction of artwork from an important private collection on December 1st.